Hi guys, it's me from Craft Samies and Things. So today we are going to make some inchies. I was inspired by Cat Hand, so I wanted to make some of the inchies. I'll link her video below. She's doing mixed media morsels, which is a really cool series about like how to do basic um, mixed media. So it's a great um, group on Facebook and um, it's just, it has lots of great information and stuff like that. So I will link that video below and you can go check her out. But a few weeks ago, I think it's been a few weeks, she made Inchi. So um, this is going to be for the hashtag Love Spring Art. Um, I thought that Inchi's would be a really fun thing to do for that. So, But she inspired me, so I want to get that out of the way first um, so you guys know where the idea came from. But um, mine are going to be a little bit different than one that she made. So what I have here is just this is a cereal box that I cut down to one inch by one inch. That's what Inchi's are. You could use cardstock, whatever you have. And then I punched out some flowers from my jelly prints. Um, I just got some small punches. They were on sale at Joanna's. They were 40% off. So they were only like $2.50. And um, that's when I buy stuff is when it's on sale. So I have two different patterns, this one and another one. So I just punched out flowers from all my lovely jelly prints that I make. And there's a video if you want to learn how to make those too. And then, um, so I cut those down. Then what I did is I painted the back um, with a metallic paint. It's called titanium gold. And um, just to kind of add something to the back, I like to paint them before I embellish the front because if you don't, then it can get on the front and mess up your design. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do this in real time. I haven't done a lot of videos in real time. And I know a lot of you guys are like, do some more videos in real time. So I'm going to do some. Okay. So what you're going to do is this is just an old book page that I got from a thrift store and you're just going to cut it down. I like that's good because I'm just going to make a couple. Okay, just like that. And inches are so fun to make. You can find lots of fun ways to use them and they make great gifts to add. If you're sending happy mail to people or something like that, you can include a little piece of your art. Okay, you can take it and you're just going to kind of eyeball it. Now if you wanted to, you can measure and then cut it out. But I'm not a measurer. <laughs> it drives me crazy to measure, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to grab a paintbrush and some deco page. That's what I use. It's the Deco Arts um, Deco Podge Glue, and I love it. It's my favorite. And you're going to take it, and I always use the glossy kind. Um, I just love things to be shiny, so... That's why I use it. And you're going to apply your book page just like that. Okay. And then you're going to go over it with the Deco Podge glue or Deco Page glue, just like that. And then you're just going to let that dry. Okay. And you'll do that with as many as you want. And once that dry, we're going to move on to the next step. Sorry. I will try to stay in frame. <laughs> I just saw a video. I was totally out of frame for a big portion of it. It's like, show me, pay attention. Very good. But sometimes I get like going and it's hard to remember to stay in frame. Yeah, right. Very good. Okay, just like that. Alrighty. So you'll just set those aside to dry. Now once you dry, you have something that looks like this because I didn't cut it down perfectly. So you just take your scissors and you just cut off the excess of paper. Okay, just like that. So no biggie there. Alrighty. Now what I also have over here, which um, I'll bring in, is that I like to make these little words and they just say like dream, hope, that kind of thing. Um, just super cute little tiny words. I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit more so you can see. Just, just some cute little words, right? And um, I like to use those um, a lot. Like I use them on tickets and I've used them on other inchies that I made. That way it has a little message with the little inchie that you're going to give. Um, that's just my style and what I like to do, but feel free um, to do, you don't have to do that. I just use my copier and I copied out the words. Um, I think they're like font nine, which is really tiny, but inchies are very tiny. So that's all I did. Okay. And we are going to adhere our flowers. So just select whatever style file flower you want. You just want the small punches. Make sure you get the small ones. That's the important part. And they have many different styles of, um, of 
small flower punches. So definitely you can find whatever works for you. Okay, put it down and then you're just gonna brush over the top very gently. And I love these brushes. They're dollar store brushes, but I can't find them anymore. I go to a Chinese dollar store and they have lots of great stuff there. And they had these brushes and I knew I should have got more, but I didn't because um, my other brushes I paid a little bit more money for. I mean, they're not top of the line brushes, but they're more expensive. So sometimes when I'm working with deco page or something or decoupage glue or a lot of mediums, um, I don't really like to use my nice brushes. So I'm just adding the word there, as you can see, to that. And then I'm just going to set that aside to dry. Now you could use the other style of flower too. The same thing. Just take that sticker on there. And when I punch out flowers, I usually punch out a lot because you can use them for a lot of really cool projects. And I just have like 10 small words that I normally use. Peace, love, dance, inspire, dream, that kind of thing. Um, and it's just really cute to have a little word on there. And they don't have to be on perfectly straight. Love is not going to be on perfectly straight, and that's going to be fine. Now, once you have, once you allow those to dry, this is what you end up with. I'm going to put that in there, okay? Something that looks like this, okay? Can you see those? Alrighty. Alrighty, and I'm going to bring you in a little bit more, so maybe you can see them a little better. If I come in too much, it'll be blurry, so... That's probably as far as we can go without you seeing a big old blurry mess. Okay. And things are sticking to this little mat of mine. I don't know why, but they are. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So once you're done with that, uh, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of glitter to the petals just to make them pop a little bit. Okay. So what I have here is I have the Deco Arts Twinklers. And that's what I'm going to use. I just use my fingers. I use my fingers for everything. <laughs> They're kind of the best tool. Even when you're cooking, too. But, you know, also when you're... That one already has some clear glitter on it. Okay. I'm just going to take my pinky and very, very lightly, I'm going to go over this flower. Just with a little bit of glue. Just to make it pop out a little bit. Just like that. And I don't care, you know, if... A little bit of the glitter glue gets on the thing and that's okay but if you want you can use a baby wipe and wipe it off okay and then you let that dry so this one's dry and once that's dry then it's up to you kind of what you want to do what I like to do is I like the Stabilo all so that's what I'm going to use this pencil now if you wanted to you could also use a sharpie too, a thin lined sharpie just to outline the flower because it's kind of lost can you see that it really doesn't pop out so it needs something to bring it to the forefront now I love the look of the Stabilo I like that kind of grungy um, look but if you didn't like that then use a sharpie and then you'd have really clean lines but I just like take it and I get really close and I just go around the object and I press fairly hard just like that but I love spring it's so pretty I really love rain <laughs> and f the flowers appearing and it's just so pretty it's a pretty season and then I'm going to do the same thing with the word so I just go around again I'm applying lots of pressure because I want my lines to be pretty dark I want you to be able to see that the, it has a shadow but already you can see that it's popping okay and then I have this it's my Crayola um, watercolor pen it's like for kids which is perfect for me <laughs> because <laughs> I'm a big kid, um, that they use um, to use watercolor plates and it doesn't make a mess. So that's what I'm going to use. I got it at the dollar store. They had like five of them. I should have got a whole bunch of these little guys because you don't need water or anything. It's already wet. So I just take it and very, very lightly, because if you do it too hard, then you'll take away the stabilo lines, the stabilo lines. Like I'm already doing that. But we're going to work anyway. And you just want to do it very lightly. Okay. And then we're going to go around the word. And already it starts to pop a little bit. Just like that. Okay. 
and then you just set that aside to dry. So let's do another one. Um, maybe I'll show you, yeah, I'll show you one with the Sharpie. How about that? Because we need that one to dry for a few minutes. So I have an ultra thin Sharpie. Okay. Cool. And I'm just going to go around the edges with that. Hopefully, if this one will cooperate with me. I have to give it a little bit of a... See if I can get the ink going. Well, there we go. It's just that it has Mod Podge. So sometimes ultra thin Sharpies do not like Mod Podge. They're like, what are you doing to me? Why are you torturing me? So I'm just going to outline it. And it will not be perfect because I cannot outline so that well. At least not to my specifications. There we go. Just like that. And then you can outline the word too. So always there's a way. If you want to do something, you know, that you can do it. Just look in your stash and find what you have and use it. I mean, I I even use pins from the dollar store. Or even the Bic um, pins, they work just fine. You know those old-fashioned ballpoint pins? Those work too. They write on anything, basically. So you could, if you have a a ballpoint pin, I promise you it will write over Mod Podge. So, just kind of have to look around and see what you can use. And don't be discouraged if you don't have the latest stuff. I mean, I love Stabilos because they're super cheap, but they have something at Michael's called the Wet and Sketch, and that works just as good. And I have that, and I use it all the time too. So, I mean, you don't have to buy expensive things in order to make at least my projects okay so you have they look like this at that point okay now at this point what I like to do is I like to add a little outline now I love oil pastels I've been using them a lot lately <laughs> and um, I want to make a little border around just to add a little bit of color so I just have this one this was gifted to me but oil pastels are very very cheap um, you can get them at Michaels or at Hobby Lobby if you use a coupon Hobby Lobby even has a set for like two dollars it's two dollars and fifty cents you know it's they're just basic oil pastels but they do what you need them to do and they it's a great way to try a product and use a 40% off coupon. I'm not too cheap. Even if something costs two or three dollars, I will totally use a coupon because that's more money that I can put in my art. And you know, the corporations, that's why they give us coupons so we can use them. Okay? Just like that. Okay? So then you have something that looks like that. And then I like to smush it a little bit. But before I do that, what I like to do is I like to activate it with heat. So this is my blow dryer so I'm just going to add some heat and just make sure you don't have lots of small things on your and then I'm just going to smudge it in just like that can do that with another one so let's use maybe I'll use I really like that color I think that goes best with it so we're going to take it and we're just going to outline the edges with our oil pastel and then take it again hold it nice and high and I'm going to heat it up And then I can just take my finger and just smoosh it in. Smoosh, smoosh. Just like that. Okay. Okay. And then at this point, you can use an ink pad or what I like to use is I want to add a little bit of an outline around these. So I like to use a permanent marker or you can use ink, whichever your preference is. And I'm just going to kind of get those edges. Okay. 
just to outline it even more, just to bring it out a little bit more. And this is just a permanent marker. You can get them at the dollar store. No worries here. Okay, just like that. And we can do the same thing over here. And it just outlines it. I just think it makes it pop a little bit. You're really emphasizing what's going on. Now if you didn't want the text to show up, you could absolutely use gesso um, just to knock it back a little bit, but I like the text where you can see it. I love text. That's like my favorite background paper ever. Okay, so once you're done with that, and the reason why I use the permanent marker or permanent um, ink is um, that we are going to add this medium, which is liquid glass. It's by Deco Arts. Now, if you didn't have this, you could use shoe polish, which I have used before, just to create a coating and to kind of shine it up. Or you could use Dimensional Magic, which you can get with the coupon at Hobby Lobby's or at Michael's. Deco Arts does sell this at Joanna's. That's the only place I know that carries this right now. You can order it on their website, and I'll link that below too. And you're just going to take it, but I love this. It's really cool. Um, you just smudge it, and it creates a little coating, and it shines everything up and lifts it up. It's really an awesome product. Um, but if you don't have it, you could use varnish. That would work too. You could just do another coating of glossy um, Mod Podge or Deco Page, which I love, and um, that would work too. So again, no worries. Just use what you got. Okay, you're going to take a little and you squirt it out. And then what I do is I use my fingers. You can use a paintbrush, but I'm a fingers girl. And I'm just going to go and gently just go around and push it just like that and then you're just gonna let it dry um, yeah and it doesn't take as long as dimensional magic sometimes dimensional magic can take a while or um, I've never used glossy accents but you could use that in this project too if that's what you have on hand um, yeah so just use what you got and the important thing when you're using the Stabilo that I never remember, and sometimes I get smudging, which it doesn't bother me um, for this project, but uh, is just let it dry. Let it dry. Because it is permanent, but you have to let it dry. Don't be like me and just kind of like, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Just like that. Okay. Awesome. Then you're just going to let these dry. Okay, and what happens is, let me show you, I did two earlier so you could see, and these have been drying for like no time at all, okay? And they're really cute, very adorable, and they're little inches, and they have a little coating on them, and they're all shined up and cute. And I'll put a picture of all the ones that I make so you can see them, and um, you can see kind of a close-up of what, of what I'm talking about. But I definitely love the ones with the Stabilo better than the ones that are just outlined. But they're both super cute, so thank you Cat Hand for the inspiration. Hopefully you guys will check out her channel, and check out all the great artists that are making um, inspired spring art because <laughs> we're close to spring and it'll be so nice when it gets here so definitely check them out there's a lot of great artists out there and i always say like go to page like three or four like skip a couple pages when you put in you know the hashtag um love spring art into the search engine for youtube and discover you know some of those smaller channels because it's amazing what they're doing they have some really great artists out there that have small channel so definitely take them out check them out and see what they're doing because they're doing some great stuff okay oh and one thing that i did forget to add is that for some of these i added a little center so i just took some gold paint and i just painted a little center can you see that um, but you don't have to do that you can add it if you want or not uh, i should have added it here but i totally forgot so these are going to be plain and that's okay uh, but i have more to work on because <laughs> i'm doing an inchy swap with some artists from colorado from my hometown okay so i'm going to stop talking i'm talking up a storm this is why you guys get fast forward videos because you do not want to listen to me babbling for hours okay <laughs> so i'll see you guys later have a fabulous day and um, happy creating i hope you create something beautiful and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe if you have
haven't and um, to share this video if you know someone that would enjoy it. And thank you Cat Hand for the inspiration and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. There'll be more inchy videos too, but those will be in fast forward. Thank you.